Exclusive! Prison boss vows to lock up lovebirds. Hard times! Prison's boss! Peter Severin wants jail guards who sleep with prisoners to serve time behind bars too. And they damn well should. And if you haven't seen my episode from yesterday about prison guards not being able to resist the bad boy, go and check it out. I've left a description. I've left a link in the description below. In a wide-ranging interview last night with the Daily Telegraph, the Under Fire Corrective Services Commissioner said he would even consider forcing inmates who bonk guards into anti-libido medication. Yeah, blame the prisoners, not the person that are meant to be guarding them for banging the prison guards. Right? It's the prison guards who should be getting penalized. Right? The prisoners, they'll do whatever they can. You know this. Right? That's why they're in prison, because they got away with whatever they could until they couldn't get away with it anymore. Damn fools. And what they don't realize is that forcing prisoners into taking anti-libido medication isn't going to stop the prison guards from continuing to bang them. Right? Because they like binging the prisoners. It comes as young mum. Demi Zeshki pictured. Right, young mum, Demi Leshki. Zeshki, sorry, has been confirmed as the latest officer caught in a tryst. She was sleeping with drink driving killer Jared Smith. Pages four to five. Here we go. Prison guards who have sex with inmates could be thrown behind bars under top reforms being pushed by the prison's boss. Corrective Services Commissioner Peter Severin also supports inmates that have sex with prison guards being medically treated with anti-libido drugs to kill their sex drive while they serve time. The radical plans are being considered as part of a new tough punishments for prison guards and inmates involved in sexual relationships with each other, with the government launching a task force to investigate the litany of sordid jail trysts. It comes after Ray Hadley yesterday revealed young mum Demi Zeshki as another guard to have had an inappropriate relationship with an inmate. It's understood Zeshki lived on site at Long Bay Jail this year and frequented the gym. When 23-year-old inmate Jared Smith, responsible for the drink driving death of two innocent people in 2014, was a cleaner. Yeah, he cleaned her pipes real good. Zeshki resigned before the investigation concluded that she had an inappropriate relationship with Smith. Well, imagine my shock at not wanting to be caught um, and held accountable for her bad behavior. When the investigator was ready to spring her, she was already off the payroll, Mr. Severin said. Mr. Severin, who was shocked and appalled by the recent allegations, said the most severe current punishment for an officer is dismissal, but it wasn't a big enough deterrent. If I had my way, I would make it an offence punishable by imprisonment, he said. Good. Presently, it's not illegal for a prison officer to have sex with an inmate. Mr. Severin also flagged that medically reducing an inmate's sex drive would have his support. Cuckold. I want to do anything that will stop inappropriate behaviour from happening. Well, how about you stop hiring pr female prison guards since they're the ones that are bonking all the prison, prison inmates? If there are medically based options, would I say no? No, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't because I want to stop this behavior from happening, he said. He said some prisoners could be extremely manipulative, but there was no excuse. That's damn right, there's no excuse. There is no excuse for it. Reality is humans are unfortunately at times susceptible to influences. And what we need to do is make sure we give them professional backbone so they know how to manage the professional boundaries. If they do the wrong thing, they need to go. That's right, and they also need to be held criminally accountable. And again, you say that it's humans are unfortunately at, at times susceptible, but it seems to be only women screwing the prisoners that they're meant to be guarding. And there's very, very, very few, if any, known instances uh, of men doing the same thing with female prisoners. Anyway, well, I'm sure there's the occasional things, but you're certainly not hearing uh, headlines about it. 
Investigators are trawling through CCTV and rosters for evidence of Kempsey jail guard Amy Connors, which is the one I did the video on yesterday. Sexual relationship with cop killer Sione Penasini. Ms. Connors was working at the jail in June and suspended last Friday. Mr. Severin said that the jail's general manager began investigating Ms. Connors after her fellow guards reported their suspicions. Mr. Severin said inappropriate relationships range from sex to contraband smuggling. Human beings have great ingenuity when it comes to those things. It's not always the case that they need to find that quiet corner to do bad things, he said. Corrections Minister David Elliott said, a prison officer who brings the profession into disrepute should leave in disgrace. I want their reputation so badly tarnished they can never work for the state government again. Good. Yesterday, he instructed Mr. Severin to establish a task force to investigate the last 10 years of allegations of inappropriate sexual relationships between inmates and correctional staff. The Department of Justice Secretary has been told to investigate increasing penalties for misconduct for inmates and staff. Mr. Elliott said the review would example, examine whether single young female officers should be left alone with maximum security prisoners. I think that he's hit the nail on the head with that one. I think that should be reviewed because the outcomes of that happening has proven time and time again to be terrible. Our study is unique and completely rewrites the history of this period at, of rapid sea level drop. No, <laughs> that's a different article. Fuck's sake. Um, he also flagged making it a criminal offense to have sex with a prisoner as well because, as well as penalty increases, including increasing inmates' security status and adding time to their sentence. I'll be putting my reputation and my career to have those penalties increased. Smith, 23, was sentenced to four years in prison for killing Kathy Pracy and her partner Gary Kelly in December 2015. Last night, Ms. Pracy's family was shocked to hear of the state of the misconduct in prisons. There's just no punishment, brother-in-law Duncan Miller told the Daily Telegraph. And there is an editorial on page 22, but I'm not going to go into that. That is Amy Connors from yesterday's article. Um... And with regards to my article yesterday, the raging husband of the female prison guard who had a clandestine affair with a cop killer behind bars called the jail demanding to know the other officer involved, only to be told, sorry, it's an inmate. Oh, that hurts. Senior prison officer Amy Connors had fallen for convicted gunman Sione Penasini during a secret 12-month romance. A 12-month romance, what, what? 12 months romance at Kempsey Maximum Security Prison. Yeah, maximum security, my ass. During that time, the mum and wife underwent a dramatic image overhaul, including a gastric band operation. <laughs> oh, wow. Which helped her shrink from size 18 to 12, as well as buying a souped-up motorbike. <laughs> the Daily Telegraph can reveal the pair had sex in Penasini's cell at night when she let herself in using her own key. Her husband, husband suspected she was having an affair for months and called prison managers convinced he was going mad. A source said, his call sparked an internal probe which found Penasini had been ringing a mutual friend who would put the inmate on loudspeaker and leave them to talk. Her husband was gobsmacked when he found out it was an inmate. Not surprisingly, right? I'd be gobsmacked too if that was my wife, but I wouldn't be stupid enough to not see the red flags. I mean, getting gastric banding, going, buying a motorcycle as a prison guard, going from size 18 to size 12, suddenly going from not getting any male attention at all, being a size 18, to suddenly getting a lot of male attention. It's a red flag right there. Speaking of red, this beard. Anyway, guys, it's time for me to get back to work. Well, not get back to work, but get to work. Um, as I am sitting outside and you damn right it's a red flag AB and good to see you men in the box I appreciate you all for jo joining in I'm gonna bounce for now but until next time I will see you later and go and check out the video in the description below which was uh, prison guards can't resist the bad boy episode one this is episode two right now you're watching and if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel hit the subscribe button below and the bell next to it so you get my daily notifications of these juicy pieces of information that you need to know as men and also so you can just help me out 
to get this word to more men so they can know the red flags, the toxic red flags of the modern entitled woman. No, not all women are that terrible, but a lot of them are. And there's no such thing as an awalt. All women are like I appreciate you joining in. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.